Handfuls of celebrities came to Fargo this weekend with two things on their mind, to raise money for a good cause and to play some golf. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the Roger Maris Tournament, an event that has helped raise nearly $2 million through the years. Well, after having a nice run at home, the Twins now play a three-game series in Cleveland, and that's the start of their five-game road trip. Yesterday was the final day for golfers in the 49th KX Amateur Tournament. After two full days, this year another playoff was required for first place. Even this truck can float. Look, it's on the top. Playing in puddles may seem fun, but water wasn't just in the streets. Just put that plug back in. The water's not very warm either. It was also finding its way into people's homes. Makeshift sure plug so it holds the drain so it didn't come up the shower. We plug the stool, sink, and the shower. And now we're going to start trying to mop up some of it. <laughs> we thought we could handle the, the rain, the precip, because originally they're talking one to two inches of rain over the next 24 hours. Two to three inches doesn't seem like much, but it's all adding up. Now all of these homes look like lakefront property. It just doesn't have a chance to go anyplace. The, the ground is so saturated. We have quite a few roads that are underwater. Our storm sewer system is uh, just can't handle the volume of water that's coming right now. For now, the city is pumping water back over the levees and into drains that aren't backed up. If we get a couple hours of, uh, of uh, downtime from the rain, we should be able to catch back up. But until then, the basement pumping and the puddle jumping will continue on. In Grafton, Christy Larson, Valley News Live. The same colors warn drivers they are entering a construction zone. We're going to have a project about five miles long, and it's not going to be typical of the construction you might be used to as we go through our projects. But the type of construction and danger can vary. We're going to work right up to the line that, share, that we share with the, with the users. So we're going to have folks on foot in the construction zone right next to the car traffic. Construction is already going to shut down one lane of traffic. Once you add in all the traffic cones, the equipment and the people running it. It all makes for a tight squeeze when you're cruising through. I think about 10-foot lanes or 11-foot lanes, you know, the garage door is 9 feet wide, and you feel how, how tight that gets you with your car. The close proximity will drop the speed limit down to 40 miles per hour to keep crews safe. Last year in North Dakota, there were over 250 crashes in work zones. Two died. So while driving through work zones, make sure both you and these workers end up home safe. As you know, just really focus on driving through the work zone. Slow down. Don't tailgate. Just running back and forth underneath the grass. Wayne Sprague is just one of many this year having a bull problem in his yard. Well, we've had them up in the yard and then we have feces and that in the, underneath our barbecue and they crawl up in the barbecues uh, and nest in there and then nest all alongside the house. They, they like to nest in the nice thick lawns and it gives them a food source and some shelter. Voles are mouse-like rodents. They spend most of their time underground in burrows but there are clear signs in yards of them above ground. You'll see like uh, dead lines of grasses and stuff and that's where they've, they've made their track. And if you see a lot of them clumped together of these uh, dead looking tracks, that's probably where their burrow is. And so they'll just gather and just dig up and eat. It's become a big problem this spring and not just in Wayne's yard. Since winter has started to set in, we've had them. I've seen a lot of old damage, um, a lot of places that are next to open fields or like Osgood Golf Course especially, uh, the voles have just been crazy. So advice to get them to stop wrecking your yard? He took Hylex and poured it in their little nests and that and along the holes and then just covered back up and they seem to stay away. Start to cut their grass a little shorter. Um, that leaves the voles less place to, to nest and burrow and uh, also takes away some of their food source. But when they start to become a big problem, like for Wayne who has to clean his porch off every day. It's not a pretty sight and it stinks. You can always do what Wayne does. They come ahead and try to get in the house and you just kick them away. <laughs> Cleaning up all the time. 